Well, hello there and welcome back. This is Sandy Ballard, your host with the Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. Yes, this is me. Thank you to all the listeners and those of you who've shared the, the podcast and for connecting with me on social media. And uh, yeah, Growing Forward, www.growingforward.biz, B-I-Z, is my website. That's the easiest way to then have all the social media outlets and connect with me. Um, yeah, YouTube as well. So I'm not sure where you're listening to this, but YouTube, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Heart yes, and uh, iTunes and Spotify. It's super cool, right? So thank you. Thank you again. And uh, one thing I haven't mentioned besides uh, you know, these podcasts, obviously, and my coaching that I do, I work with people individually and in groups to set goals, stay focused, motivated, and to, ch- to achieve them. I do a lot of team building facilitation all across the United States. And I actually do some events for personal and professional growth. One of them I'm just totally digging is called Taboo. It's a a luncheon for women, and it's quarterly, and it is coming up June 29th. So if you are here locally in Indiana, I hope you look out for that. And also uh, coming up, my first um, go at this is called Business at the Beach. It's going to be next February in Playa del Carmen, and it's going to be sun, fun, and serious business, right? So four days of learning, growing, connecting, Um, because for some reason, all the events I have, some amazing connections happen. It's really cool. All that information is on my website. There's separate tabs for Taboo and for Business at the Beach, so please check those out, because there is a special pricing, of course. Always has to be special pricing until July. But listen to the podcast. I appreciate that. And um, there you go. And one of the things uh, interesting is yesterday I was having a conversation with another coach, fellow coach that I just met, and we're talking about um, just, you know, personal professional growth. And she mentioned a stat, and I can't remember the exact stat, but that the statistic is that women are less likely to invest in themselves versus men. They're less likely to invest in their own personal and professional growth. That's why there are less women at higher positions, there aren't 50-50, as, you know, some people are always griping about. Uh, And I think it's interesting, but it's also understandable. You know, it's always been the women who have been able to do it all, right? Financially, can be a challenge to invest in, in yourself. I've been there. I have wanted to go to stuff so badly, and I'm like, I just can't afford to do it. And there's so many out there. So what options? And as well as making the excuses of kids, family, responsibilities, at work, a volunteer, excuse, 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 right? But it's also just about admitting that you do need help. That, um, you know, that word help has somehow re- received its negative, has negative connotations, right? And, you know, so if as a woman... And men sometimes do this. If you ask for help, you're incompetent. Um, The expectations and perceptions that surround the word. It's a four-letter word. But you know what? So is food. And we need food to survive. So for the love of God, what the hell is wrong with help? And how did it get such a bad rap? (laughs) So regardless of if you're a man or a woman listening to this, we all need help. Whether we delegate, collaborate, have a partnership, just basically ask. I don't care if you're talking about asking to take the trash out. We all need help. However, we acquire it. It does help us grow both personally and professionally, doesn't it? Right? And reflecting back on last week's podcast, The Power of One, I wasn't referring about going it alone. If you've listened to me over these two, three years, wherever, I don't know, lost track of what year I'm in. If you've listened to me, you understand it takes, it. Um, you know, life is not an individual sport. It's a team sport. And last week's podcast, it was not about going it alone. It was about the power of one, how powerful one shitty thing 
is one comment, one text like I had received to knock you down, one comment, just anything like that. One shitty thing will knock you down, but it only takes one conversation, connection, thought to get you back up. So that's what last week was about. And again, it's and, and what that is, it's called asking for help. It's called help. You're receiving help in some way to learn how to and get yourself back up. You know, like I said, life is a, life is a team sport. I've talked about that. I've talked about finding your tribe, building the right people. You know, yes, we're going to be disappointed. like Just like we're disappointed in the one thing that knocked us down. But by listening to these podcasts, it means you are looking for and are opening open to receiving help and by sharing this podcast you're actually helping other people so think about that you know and it's it's something you've if you're sharing it you're obviously approving of it so you want to help others and that's super cool and i'm sure many of you are listening saying you know sandy i ask for help all the time well how often are you happy with that help and i'm also i think i touched on it earlier referring to not I am referring to help that is deeper than getting your shit done so you can go home from work or getting your shit done if you work from home so you can watch TV or go outside or do something else. I'm not talking about taking the trash out, but you do need to you know, ask for help if you need that. I'm, re- I'm referring to what I mentioned at the beginning of this rant, investing in yourself for personal and professional growth. The help that will get you closer to your goals closer to becoming the best you you can be. All right, and it doesn't always have to cost money. You know, like I mentioned, there's times where I have not been able to afford to do something. You know, but it always needs to provide value. So time, you know, is a cost as well. But you either have one or the other, right? Trust me, I've done my fair share of free things to go to events. Um, I've done my fair share of events, webinars, workshops. I've given them. I've attended them. I've volunteered so I could attend a conference for free. I speak at conferences and get uh, a registration to the conference. So, you know, there are ways we can achieve getting personal and professional growth without shits and some money and without a ton of lost time. Now, and I have lost plenty of hours that I'll never get back by some crappy free things, but also paid. But, you know, what about you? What about what are you doing to invest in yourself? Think about this. I mean, health-wise, yoga, meditation, running, working out, diets, just paying attention to your diet, making healthier choices. Um, I run, you know, educational. There's reading, classes, workshops, seminars, webinars. When you go networking, you're building your tribe, you're meeting new people, you're connecting, talking, learning. Um, some of you probably have a coach or a mentor, somebody you meet with regularly. You know, you just have to be open to it, right? I recently listened to an audiobook, my first audiobook I listened to, uh, Crushing It by Gary Vay- Vaynerchuk, and it provided fantastic value. I think it was like $16.99. It really, truly provided great value to me. And I'm in a class to renew my certification for as a coach. I have to do that every few years. It's actually my second class this year. And it gets me excited and it renews my um, just my thoughts and love for coaching. You know, and so what is it that's in your profession? What class could you take that, you know, whether you have to get CEUs or not, that can read help renew that energy and can help you grow as a person and in your profession. Yes, shameless plug for my Taboo Luncheon and my business at the beach retreat. Both will provide personal and professional growth. I'd love for you all to be there, right? But I can't get you all to be there. So what is it that you have done that you think was super fantastic that really just you know, really rejuvenated your spirit, really helped you grow personally, professionally, both, okay? You know, it's the women, you know, maybe that was an old statistic, or I think a lot of women are now coming about, but where women have fallen off is the mindset that kids, husbands, 
families, anything else, bosses go first. I work with a lot of female clients on putting themselves first and you should see them. They cringe. They think it's selfish. It's not. It's investing in yourself. It's making sure that you are operating at 100%. Because if you're not, if you're down the list and you're only running at 70%, then that's what you're actually giving everybody. You're not giving yourself fully. So think about that, ladies. And this week, I want to hear from you. Email me, sballard at growingforward.biz, or post here in the comment section one thing you've done to invest in yourself and what was the outcome? What was the result? of investing in yourself and you if you have had a bad experience talk about that as well we'll talk about what you've learned but I'd love to hear what you what you've done or what you're currently doing and also maybe it's time to do something new all right have a great week and this is all about you and about growing personally and professionally have a great week cheers